Do you feel fearful and hopeless when you experience problems? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Four women were sitting discussing their sons. The first proudly stated that her son was a bishop. So when he enters a room, people address him as Your Excellency. The second, not to be outdone, said that her son is an archbishop. So when he enters the room, people address him as Your Grace. The third quietly stated that her son was a cardinal. So when he enters the room, the people say Your Eminence. The fourth woman said, Well, my son is 7 feet 2 inches tall and weighs 430 pounds. And when he walks into a room, people say, My God! Today's Gospel reading opens with Jesus fast asleep while his apostles are all in panic as their boat is being tossed by the tall waves and a raging storm. We must understand that the Sea of Galilee is 600 feet below sea level. It is bordered by hills and mountains, which act as natural wind tunnels. There are times where, during nighttime, the warm air of the day rises and cool air from the ravines rush down. The meeting of these winds result in tornadoes that whip up gigantic waves. In biblical times, the forces of nature were associated with God. The psalmist in today's responsorial psalm represent the people's belief that God's anger caused such bad weather and they pleaded for His mercy. In the psalm, we read, In their distress, they cried to the Lord, who brought them out of their peril. He hushed the storm to silence. The waves of the sea were still. They rejoiced that the sea grew calm, that God brought them to the harbor they longed for. Indeed, our God is our harbor of safety in our times of danger. The apostles knew this as they appealed to a sleeping Jesus. The storms may have been extra violent for even these experienced fishermen to cry out to Jesus for help. And Jesus did not fail them. He said to the winds and waves, Be quiet, be still, and they died down. Perhaps this command of his was not just directed to nature. He's also telling us that when the problems of life start to hound and pound us, we just need to, in Psalm 46.10, be still and know that I am God. He wants us to pray and acknowledge that on our own, we can only do so much. But with Him, everything is possible. Life can be a hurricane of challenges. We can lose hope and be overcome by extreme anxiety or depression. We can freeze in fear or we can turn to God, who can quell all our fears, real or imagined. When we lose grip of the steering wheel of our lives, we can pray to our Lord, Let your tender love overwhelm me, O Lord, for you are my Savior, and you keep your promises. When our prayer life is a constant, especially in good times, we learn to be grateful to a God who never abandons. Learning to be grateful always allows us to appreciate the constancy of our God in our lives, especially in our storms. But the storms he will pacify are not the storms out there, but the storms within, buried in our hearts, disturbing us, sowing much fear. Brothers and sisters, which is dominant in us, faith or fear? When we see enormous problems enter our own small space, we can feel helpless or defeated. But we can also utter these words, My God, and in faith we can be sure our own giants will be conquered. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, in the storms of my life, be with me to still me, calm me, quiet me, and assure me that no harm will befall me. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.